It's an old school battle in the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. The Eagles and the Steelers are underway. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They're led out by the second year pro out of Pitt, looking for a big jump in year two, Kenny Pickett. And when you watch Kenny Pickett play, you see a young man who got better every season in college and really blossomed in his final campaign, took his game to a new level, and made him a first-round pick in the NFL. He's a type of kid who can beat you with his mind, beat you with his arm, and occasionally with his legs. A tough, skilled performer. Kenny Pickett, he's got some moxie to him. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. He's got it to the 43 here. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six. Pickett will look to throw it here. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 30. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So first and 10 now from the 30. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Now a second and 10. A handoff to Barkley on the option. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Here's Pickett. That is caught. Touchdown, Eagles. A.J. Brown. 29 yards. And the Eagles put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they liked, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single-season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. Four-force. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 56 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. 
And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Harris running straight ahead. And he stopped immediately there. Well, now after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll run again with Harris. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. Back to throw. Fields. And in for the Steelers. Touchdown. Darnell Washington from six yards away. And the Steelers respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied Teams had it. Each team has scored. 7 7 here as the kicks away. And a decent return out to the 27 yard line. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second down and three. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Oh, he shifts past him. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley. And another first and 10 here. Pick it back to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. He got 29 yards that time. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Steelers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone. 
and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. They'll start on the ground with Harris. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? <laughs> you talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Here's Fields. He's got his tight end Fryermuth over the middle. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off play action, Fields. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. And that one results in 35 yards. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind, no pointing fingers, no accusations, because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. Now a first down carry for Harris, and he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Now second and nine. Play action. It's Fields. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagle 17-yard line. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Seven seven, our score after one. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. On first down, it's Fields. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard, maybe a touch less. Fields. Caught on the slant. And the Steelers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Harris, touchdown, Pittsburgh. Just power football there, down near the goal line. Give it to him, he's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible, but all they're doing is getting a good stance, 
blocking and getting their runner across the goal line. Extra point now by Boswell. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. Now, Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. On second down, here's Barkley. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. They'll come up now third and nine. Now pick it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Pick it to throw on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Parker. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right, then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Second down, here's Pickett. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's second and 10. Pick it. Quick slant here to Smith. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 25-yard line. They give them 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. A first down carry for Barkley. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. 
That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 20, here's a second and five. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Kenny Pickett taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Good decision to keep the football and then some really good running to find the end zone. And so much for scouting because you know they went over this in practice on the defensive side that you have to protect the edges in that RPO that he may tuck it and keep it himself. Instead, he crashed down and off he went. Elliott on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was finished off by Kenny Pickett taking it in himself. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Well, that's not exactly how they drew that one up nor practiced it because on first down, you're trying to get some yardage to set up second and third down calls. In this case, had to drop it off to his running back but boy, they closed quickly on that one and stopped him behind the line of scrimmage. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Multiple players getting home there for an 8-yard loss. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Third and 20. Here's Fields. That's complete to his tight end fire move. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. Fielded at the 43. 
We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers will take over possession here up at the 44. Oh, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And they'll start in excellent field position following the INT. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Fields now to throw. They'll get this complete to Calvin Austin. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. What my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Hassan Reddick. And the Eagles are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Here's a second and five. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. He's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Pick it now from the gun here. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Final play of the first half. Here's Pickett. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 30. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As well. Well, time is of the essence. We breeze through halftime, and we are ready for the second half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And this taken in at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. 
This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Now Fields. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. The good old days. They'll try and get this run game going. This is Barkley. And on the stop, Demonte Casey. Second and five. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. And this one complete to Smith. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And down inside the 15 he goes. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Barkley inside handoff, and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Not all day in play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have moved out in front. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. All your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. Experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. And said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Here's Fields now on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw, Fields. And that will be incomplete. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Running left, it's Barkley. Oh, look at the juke. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Of a pickup. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. This is caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 
Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking Mike Tomlin has reached for that red challenge flag, and he'll throw it out there. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Kenny Pickett scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback, the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And, in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Milton Williams forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Now that gets back some of what they needed, but they're still stuck here with a third and 13. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now whistles here before the snap, and it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Now it's Fields. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. A second and ten forthcoming here. Third quarter action in the Steel City of Pittsburgh, PA. To throw his fields. He finds Pickens over the middle. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the 50, here's Fields. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. 
But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Second and 10. On the give, this is Harris. And despite the good footwork, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing on third down, Fields. Pickens on the slant. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Steelers with the football, but trailing here as we get going in quarter number four. They're going for it. This is Harris. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Okay, you and I are sitting up here getting ready to analyze whether they should go for it or not. Did you see the quarterback just point to the sideline and say, uh-uh, everybody back. I've got this call. Well, you knew this side of the field, they're in plus territory, fourth and one. He wasn't coming off the field. No, he wasn't coming off the field, and he wasn't letting the offense go with him at all. He said, we're staying out here, and we're picking this one up. That's some leadership right there. And that drop will cause a little bit of angst for the play caller because you know they've worked all week game planning and flexing the tight end out and making him a matchup issue for the defense. They had what they wanted, and he drops the ball. Yeah, just couldn't hang on to the slant. Here's Fields. Looking for Pickens. He's got him on the out route. And the Steelers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Now it's Fields off the bootleg. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Fields. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Now Fields on third and goal. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Calvin Austin from four yards out. And the Steelers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. We may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there, and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Boswell good with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. well now to kick it away after the touchdown. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the 
the Steelers. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. So a turnover there on the kickoff. And don't look now, but that just made things a little more interesting. Very interesting, because when you're trailing in a game, these are the mistakes that you're brave for. You just went down and scored. Now you get the football right back with another great opportunity. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's second and three. Now Fields. He'll find Najee Harris. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. With his size coming out of the backfield, usually takes more than an arm tackle to get him down. That's why they like to get him involved in the passing game. No doubt about it. You saw him running that angle route there and catching the ball. And with his size, not often thought to have hands, but we're hearing that more and more. Guys are doing a better job of catching the ball at any size coming out of the backfield because they need to be a full part of the offense. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, his second touchdown of the night. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Wide receiver A.J. Brown. You see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Pickett looking to throw on second down. He gets it into the arms of Parker. Complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So first and 10 now from the 30. Pick it'll look to throw it here. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. 
They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Early down stuff will put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Pick it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 45-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Pick it now to throw off the play fake. This one complete down the field to Goddard. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they topped 30. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. So he stopped for no gain, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Once more from the 11, second and 10. Pick it, back to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Pick it right back to the air again. Throw out wide is incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. The kick by Elliott is good, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. So now the Steelers down 31-28, 205 to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. On first and 10, here's Fields. Austin brings in the quick throw. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Here's second and a yard. Here's Fields. He's got Pickens complete. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Now Fields. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. 
everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Back to throw. Fields. Completes this to Jefferson. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down. Got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are in the field. Here's first and ten. Here's Fields. Over the middle, complete. It's Harris. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about... They'll come up now on second down. All eyes on fields. They're throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. They'll come to the line now on a third and six. They'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Too far for a field goal. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They snap it to Fields. And it's going to be batted down. And will go the other way with a the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles defense able to hold. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ball game. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain, like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off, but they do know that in the future, they've got work on taking care of the football because this won't happen very often. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Pittsburgh.